Chloe's Puppet Show. Peppa and her family are visiting Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig and Cousin Chloe. I expect Uncle Pig will fall asleep after lunch like he always does. Daddy Pig, you shouldn't say such things about your own brother, especially in front of the children. But it's true. Uncle Pig always eats too much lunch and falls asleep, snoring loudly, like this. Uh, Peppa, George, forget what I just said about Uncle Pig. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived at Uncle Pig and Auntie Pig's house. Hello, Auntie Pig and Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hello, Big Brother. Uncle Pig is Daddy Pig's brother. Chloe Pig is Peppa and George's cousin. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. I want to show you something. <laughs> <laughs> this is my new puppet theatre. My daddy made it for me. Wow! Ooh. I've made two puppets already. This one is called Chloe. Hello, I am Chloe Pig. <laughs> and this one is my daddy, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. I am Uncle Pig. <laughs> Chloe, can me and George make puppets too? Yes. Chloe paints the puppet's eyes. Can I do the mouth? OK. My name is Peppa. <laughs> George, what puppet would you like to make? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? George always says dinosaur for everything. OK. A scary dinosaur puppet. Chloe is making George a dinosaur puppet. It needs pointy teeth. There, a scary dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> lunch time, everyone. Coming. After lunch, we'll do a puppet show. Hooray! <laughs> Auntie Pig has made spaghetti for lunch. <laughs> This spaghetti is delicious. Best spaghetti ever. You can tell you two are brothers. Alike in every way. What do you mean? We are completely different. <laughs> Peppa, George and I are going to do a puppet show. Fantastic. Call us when you're ready. See you later. A puppet show? That sounds fun. Have I got time for some more spaghetti? Could I have some more, too? <laughs> <laughs> the puppet show is about to begin. Hello, my name is Chloe. And I am Peppa. Grrr. Ah! It's a dinosaur! A scary dinosaur! <laughs> oh, I say, that's very good. Bravo! I am Uncle Pig. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> it looks just like you. I think they've made my tummy a bit big. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I did enjoy my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Pig, are you going to fall asleep and snore like you always do? What do you mean? Daddy says you always fall asleep and snore loudly, like this. <laughs> ho, ho, your daddy's right. I do snore like this. <laughs> Daddy Pig, you shouldn't have said those things about Uncle Pig. I don't think Daddy Pig or Uncle Pig can hear you. Daddy Pig and Uncle Pig have fallen asleep. You can tell they are brothers. <laughs> hey, what happened? Huh? Has the puppet show started yet? <laughs> <laughs> Lunch. Peppa and George have come to Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. <laughs> Granny Pig! <laughs> Thank you, Pig! <laughs> Hello, my little ones. Would you like to pick some vegetables from the garden for lunch? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Papa Pig! 
Hello, Pepper, George. This is Grandpa Pig's vegetable garden. He has grown all these vegetables himself. <coughs> What's this? Dinosaur. A dinosaur? <laughs> Let's chew some vegetables for lunch. <laughs> Pepper, do you like tomatoes? Yes, Grandpa Pig. George, do you like tomatoes? No. George does not like tomatoes. Oh, dear. Do you both like lettuce? Yes, Grandpa Pig. No. George does not like lettuce. Oh, dear. I must have something that George likes. Do you like cucumber? Yuck! George does not like cucumbers, and he does not like lettuce, and he does not like tomatoes. Well, George, what vegetable do you like? Chocolate cake. <laughs> Silly George. Chocolate cake isn't a vegetable. <laughs> Maybe George will like the vegetables when they're made into a lovely salad. <laughs> Lovely fresh tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. First, we have to wash them. Pepper and George help <laughs> Granny Pig wash the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's enough washing. Granny Pig has made the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber into a salad. Grandpa Pig, can you call everyone to lunch? Lunch! <laughs> Granny Pig has made pizza for lunch. And here's some salad, made with Grandpa's tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Chuck in, everyone. <laughs> George has eaten his pizza, but George does not like the tomatoes or the lettuce or the cucumber. Oh dear, George, don't you like the salad? No. George, just try a little bit of this lovely tomato. Yuck! George, this is cucumber. Grandpa Pig grew it in his garden. Yeah. Try a piece of lettuce, George. It's yummy. <coughs> oh, now, now, George. <laughs> Look what I'm doing. Now it's a dinosaur. A dinosaur. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. George is eating the tomatoes, lettuce and cucumber. Well done, George. Would you like some more, George? Full. Oh. George, are you too full to eat any more tomatoes, lettuce or cucumber? George is too full to eat any more. George, are you too full to eat anything more? George is too full to eat anything more. Oh, well. Then you won't want any of this chocolate cake. Chocolate cake! <laughs> My word! George seems to have got his appetite back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig's birthday. Today is Mummy Pig's birthday. Daddy Pig has made Mummy Pig breakfast in bed. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig. <laughs> Pepper and George have made Mummy Pig a birthday card. Happy birthday, Mummy! <coughs> oh, what a lovely birthday surprise! And there are more surprises to come. Enjoy your birthday breakfast. Take your time. Mmm, <laughs> 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 yummy! But quick, we have to get everything else ready. Daddy Pig has made a birthday cake for Mummy Pig. <laughs> We've just got to put the candles on. <laughs> One. Two. Here I come. Mummy Pig has finished her birthday breakfast. Mummy's coming. Oh, no. We're not ready yet. Uh, who is it? It's Mummy. Can I come in? No, no. 
Is there something secret going on? Uh, no, nothing's going on. But you can't come in. I see. <laughs> Mummy Pig, why don't you relax in the sitting room? That sounds nice. Well, it is your birthday. OK, Peppa. I think I know what the sitting room is. <laughs> here's a nice magazine. Thank you, Peppa. And here's some pretty music. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> 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 we need the same number of candles as Mummy's age. One, two, three. Oh dear, we haven't got nearly enough candles. Daddy, how old is Mummy? I'll whisper it in your ear. Wow, really old. <laughs> you know, I think three candles will be fine. Mummy Pig's birthday cake is ready. <laughs> we just have to put up the decorations in the sitting room. <sighs> Hello, Mummy. Oh, there you all are. I was getting a little bored. Mummy, would you like to have a nice walk in the garden? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have any choice? Nope. <laughs> Bye-bye, Mummy. Have a lovely walk. <laughs> we'll call you when it's safe to come back in. I've forgotten what hard work birthdays were. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and George are decorating the sitting room. <laughs> this is fun! Granny Pig and Grandpa Pig have arrived for Mummy Pig's birthday. Happy birthday, Mummy Pig! Aren't you coming inside? Oh, I can't come in yet. Daddy Pig, Peppa and George are doing secret things for my birthday. How lovely. <coughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, would you like to come inside now? I'd love to. Close your eyes. Keep your eyes closed, Mummy. <laughs> One, two, three, open your eyes! Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday, yeah. Mummy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> what a lovely surprise! Blow the candles out and make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> mummy, Mummy, open your present. Can you guess what it is? I've no idea. Open it and see. It's a beautiful dress. Beautiful, Mummy. <laughs> now you just need somewhere nice to wear it. What's this? Two tickets to the theatre, tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves going to the theatre. And Granny Pig and I are going to babysit the little ones. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> what a super birthday. I'm the luckiest Mummy in the whole world. <laughs> and the most beautiful. <laughs> Daddy's movie camera. Mr. Zebra, the postman, is delivering a parcel to Peppa's house. Parcel for you, Mr. Pig. Thank you, Mr. Zebra. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Look, I just got a parcel in the post. Can anyone guess what's inside? Dinosaur! Oh, George, <coughs> you always say dinosaur for everything. <laughs> the parcel is far too small to have a dinosaur inside. Hmm, I think it's a, a new toy. <coughs> You're very close. I know what it is. Your new camera, a new toy for Daddy Pig. That's right. It's a movie camera. We can make movies with it and watch them on our television. Can I use it first, Daddy? <laughs> it's a bit too difficult for children to use. Even I need to read the instructions. Hmm. It's a bit harder than I thought. Susie Sheep's mummy has a movie camera. She switches it on like this. Oh, well done, Peppa. Thank you for purchasing the movie 3000. I am eager and ready to shoot your first movie. Is there a way to turn that voice off? I'm not sure. 
thank you for purchasing the Movie 3000. On Susie's camera, you just press this button to stop it talking. Thank you for purchasing... Now we won't talk anymore. Well done, Peppa. What shall I film first? Film me! <laughs> <laughs> OK, Peppa. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everyone. Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> 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 again, again. Okay. <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> again, again! <laughs> Maybe we should film something new. I know. Daddy Pig must leave the room and we'll make a movie to show him. This way! Daddy Pig has to wait in the kitchen while Mummy Pig, Pepper, and George make a secret movie. <laughs> no peeking, Daddy Pig! <laughs> <laughs> we all have to do something. George, do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Can I come in and see the movie? Finished! You can come in now. George has made a movie and so has Pepper. Let's see George's movie first. <coughs> dinosaur! Grrr. George is pretending to be a dinosaur. Grrr. That's a very scary dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, dear. George is frightened. Don't be frightened, George. That's not a real dinosaur on TV. It's you. <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see Peppa's movie. Ho, ho, ho. Who is that meant to be? I am Daddy Pig. Ho, ho, ho. I see. My tummy is very big because I eat a lot of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> My tummy is not big. But it is true that I like cookies. And the more you eat, the bigger your tummy gets. <laughs> <laughs> OK, what's next? This is my sweet little brother, George. This is Mummy Pig. This is me. <laughs> and this is the real Daddy Pig. <laughs> my birthday party. It is Peppa's birthday. It is very early in the morning. It's my birthday. <laughs> George, wake up. It's my birthday. <sighs> I'm going to have a party. <coughs> and Daddy is doing a magic show. <coughs> Quick, George, let's wake Mummy and Daddy up. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still fast asleep. Wake up. It's my birthday. Wake up. Oof. <sighs> what time is it? It's very late. It's five o'clock in the morning. Yes, the whole day is going. <laughs> OK, let's get your birthday started. Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and George are giving Peppa her birthday present. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Peppa. Ooh. What is it? A doll's dress. I can put it on Teddy. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Peppa. I didn't know Teddy was a girl, Teddy. Oh, Daddy. Of course Teddy's a girl. I love my new dress. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome, Teddy. Don't get it dirty. Do you know what's happening next, Peppa? Yes. My friends are coming for my birthday party. And Daddy is doing a magic show. <laughs> no one will know the magician is your Daddy. You will introduce me as the Amazing Mysterio. The Amazing Mysterio. Yes, the Amazing Mysterio. Daddy's been practising his magic tricks all week. My friends are here. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> 
Sierra Pepper's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Pepper. Nay. <laughs> Come on, children. The party is starting. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to do a magic show. Pepper, remember what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the amazing Mysterio. OK, Daddy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's Magic Daddy. Hooray! For my first trick, Abracadabra. <gasps> wow, it's Daddy. For my next trick, I need a helper from the audience. Me, 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 me. me. <laughs> I just need one. <sniffs> Young lady, you put your hand up first. Can you tell the audience your name? <laughs> Susie Sheep. OK, Susie, here are three balls. A red one, a blue one and a yellow one. OK. You have to secretly choose one while my back is turned. OK. Have you chosen one? Yes. Abracadabra! You chose yellow. No. Uh, abracadabra! Blue. No. Abracadabra! Red. Yes, it is red. Hooray! <laughs> Silly magic, Daddy. You said all three colours. Shush, Pepper. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> 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 Would you like one more trick? Yes, please. Ooh. Close your eyes. No looking. Say the magic words. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Open your eyes. Ooh. Hooray! My banana birthday cake. Blow the candles out, Pepper. <gasps> Thank you, everyone. This is my best birthday ever. <laughs> <laughs> the Sleepy Princess. It is night time. Pepper and George are going to bed. <laughs> Good night, Pepper and George. Mummy, Daddy. Yes, Pepper. I'm not sleepy. I could have a story. But maybe George is sleepy and doesn't want a story. George, do you want a story? Say yes. <laughs> All right. I will tell you just one story. If Daddy Pig tells you a story, you must both promise to go to sleep. We promise. <laughs> hmm. I think I'll tell you the story of the Sleepy Princess. Is it a good story? It sounds a bit boring. It's not boring. It's very good. Is there a little princess in it? Peppa, if you keep talking, Daddy Pig can't start the story. Sorry, Mummy. Is there a little princess in the story, Daddy? Oh, <laughs> yes. There is a little princess in it. <coughs> hmm. The Sleepy Princess. Once upon a time, in a castle, there lived a little princess. And she was called the Sleepy Princess. Daddy, why was she called that? I'll get to that later. Was the Sleepy Princess pretty? Yes. She was very pretty. She loved looking at herself in the mirror. I am so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Who else was living at the castle? Uh, well... The others in the castle were the small prince, <coughs> Queen Mummy <coughs> and King Daddy. <coughs> That's right. They were all living there as well. Did King Daddy have a big tummy? Of course not. He was very handsome, like me. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, there was also a dragon. Dinosaur! A dinosaur? Oh, yes. It wasn't a dragon. It was a dinosaur. Living outside was a huge, fierce dinosaur. 
Oh dear, maybe the dinosaur wasn't quite that fierce, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Sorry, George. No, the dinosaur was very gentle. It ate lots of grass. Daddy Pig! Oh, sorry. I was being the dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, why is the princess called the Sleepy Princess? I'm coming to that. You see, the sun set, then the stars and moon came out, and everyone got very sleepy. <sighs> but the most sleepy of all was the sleepy princess. <sighs> Peppa, are you sleepy? No, Daddy. I am not sleepy at all. <sighs> but somebody is. George, wake up. You missed the end of the story. Well, Peppa might not be sleepy, but the sleepy princess certainly was. Looking at herself all day in the mirror had completely worn her out. <sighs> Let's carry you to bed. <coughs> Good night. <coughs> the sleepy princess was so sleepy, <coughs> she had fallen fast asleep. Thank you for that story, King Daddy. You're welcome, Queen Mummy. And our little prince and princess enjoyed it too. Daddy puts up a picture. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have a new picture of Pepper and George. We should put this lovely new picture on the wall. Leave it to me. I am the DIY expert of the house. Are you sure you can do it? Of course. I'll just put a nail in the wall and hang the picture on it. Very good. I'm just off to visit Granny and Grandpa Pig. I'll see you later. And please don't make a mess. Mess? <laughs> Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Daddy, can we help put up the picture? You can watch, and then you'll learn how to do it properly. First, I need a tape measure. And a pencil. That is where I'm going to put the nail. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> now I need a hammer and a nail. Stand back, children, and watch a craftsman at work. Daddy Pig is going to knock the nail into the wall. Don't break the wall, Daddy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Pepper. <laughs> Easy as pie. Oh, it's not meant to do that. Daddy Pig has made a big crack in the wall. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the wall. It's just a tiny crack. The picture will hide it. There. I can still see the crack, Daddy. Yes. I'll just take the nail out and fill in the crack. Don't make a mess, Daddy. Oh, don't be silly, Pepper. Oh, it's coming out. Whoa! <laughs> oh, Daddy. Now you really have broken the wall. Mm. Do you think Mummy will notice? Uh, yes, I think she might. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, George. <laughs> what are they doing? Daddy, we can see you. <laughs> Daddy Pig has to mend the wall before Mummy Pig comes home. Brick, please. <laughs> First, Daddy Pig fills the hole with bricks. <laughs> there. <laughs> Next, Daddy Pig puts plaster over the bricks. 
<laughs> this is pie. Then Daddy Pig paints the wall. <laughs> Good as new. The wall is mended. Hooray! <laughs> but look at all the mess they have made. Goodness me. We'd better clean up before Mummy comes back. First, Daddy Pig quickly washes Pepper and George. Then Pepper vacuums the floor. And Daddy Pig tidies up the tools. <gasps> Mummy! Mummy Pig is home. Mummy! <gasps> Mummy's here! Quick, pretend nothing has happened. Hello! Hello! <laughs> What have you been doing? Oh, nothing. <laughs> yes, I can see you've been doing nothing. I thought you were going to put the picture up. In all the excitement, Daddy Pig has forgotten to put the picture up. Oh. Well, I'm no expert, but I'm sure it's quite easy. There. Hmm. Yes, that did look quite easy. But when you did it, Daddy, it looked really hard. Shush, Pepper, don't tell anyone. <laughs> School play. Pepper's playgroup are going to put on a play. The Little Red Riding Hood. Hooray! All the children have parts in the play. They have to practice at home. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is going to be Little Red Riding Hood. <coughs> Mummy Pig has made her costume. Daddy Pig is helping Pepper practice. <coughs> okay, Pepper. What do you say? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Very good. Then what? Um. I'm going to visit my grandma. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Pepper! <coughs> Danny Dog is going to play the big bad wolf. <coughs> Grandad Dog and Mummy Dog are helping him practice. On the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> Try not to laugh, Danny. You should be a bit scarier. Try it like this, Danny. <clears throat> I'm the Big Bad Wolf. I'm going to eat you all up! <laughs> you see? Yes, that was really scary. <laughs> Pedro Pony is going to play the hunter. He will rescue Pepper from the big bad wolf. Um, I'm the hunter, and... Pedro is a bit shy. Nay. You say, I'm going to chase you away, you big bad wolf. Um, go away, naughty wolf. <laughs> Very good, Pedro. Rebecca Rabbit is going to be the grandma. What do I say, Mummy? Let's see. At the start of the play, you get locked in a cupboard by the big bad wolf. Then right at the end of the play, you are rescued by the hunter. And you say, thank you. <coughs> thank you. Very good, Rebecca. <laughs> Everyone has come to see the school play. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our play, The Little Red Riding Hood. First, let us meet the actors. <laughs> Nay. Meow. <laughs> please, please, for the sake of the actors, no photography, please. And now, our play begins. <laughs> Grandma is at home. But who is this visitor? On the big bad wolf. Well done, Danny! Um... Oh, dear. Danny has forgotten what he says next. Grandma, you must go in the cupboard. Go in the cupboard. The big bad wolf is pretending to be Grandma. Ooh. I am Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my grandma. Bravo, Pepper. Daddy, you must not take photos. Oops. Sorry, Pepper. Carry on. <clears throat> I'm going to visit my grandma. <laughs> oh, you don't look like my grandma. <laughs> what big eyes you have. <laughs> what big teeth 
you have. <gasps> you are not Grandma. You are the big bad wolf. Ooh. Help! Oh, help! <gasps> but look who is here. Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Help! Oh, help! Just in time. Pedro the Hunter. Pedro is a bit shy. Pedro, would you like me to come on with you? Yes, please. You are a very naughty wolf. <laughs> oh, saved you, Grandma. Hooray! <clears throat> Thank you. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Pedro, you are very good. <laughs> You are almost as good as me. <laughs> Fancy dress party. Pepper and George are having a fancy <laughs> dress party. All their friends are invited. Pepper is dressed as a fairy princess. And George is dressed as a dinosaur. Grr, dinosaur. <laughs> Here are Peppa's friends. Candy Cat, Susie Sheep, Danny Dog, Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony. <laughs> Susie is wearing her nurse's costume. Hello, Susie. <laughs> Hello, Mr Pig. I'm glad the nurse has arrived. Have you just come from the hospital? Uh, I'm not a real nurse. It's just pretend. <laughs> Very good. My, my. Who have we here? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> Meow. I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Nay. I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And what are you, Rebecca Rabbit? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Fantastic. Come in. There's a fairy princess and a dinosaur waiting to meet you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello. <laughs> Nay. Hello, Susie. I'm Princess Peppa. You must bow when you speak to me. Hello, Your Majesty. <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. Open wide and say, ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Nay. I'm a clown. Do something funny. <laughs> Rebecca, why are you dressed as a carrot? I like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur. <gasps> A scary dinosaur. <laughs> Pepper is admiring herself in the mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> you are Peppa. <laughs> Meow. Hello, Peppa. Hello. I'm a little fairy princess. <laughs> I'm a witch. Meow. And I've got a magic wand. I've got a magic wand too. I can turn you into a frog. And I'll turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Dinosaur. <laughs> oh dear, George is scared of his own reflection. Oh, silly George. <laughs> Look, it's you in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Children, it's time to decide who has the best fancy dress costume. We need a judge. Me, me! <laughs> As it's Peppa's party, maybe she should be the judge. I'm the judge, I'm the judge. Daddy, what is a judge? The judge decides who has the best costume. Oh, goody! Pepper is going to choose who has the best costume. Susie, can I see your costume, please? <laughs> I'm Nurse Susie. I make people better. Very good, Nurse Susie. <laughs> now, Danny? I'm a pirate. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> now, Candy? Meow. <laughs> I'm a witch. I can turn you into a frog. Well, I'm a fairy princess and I can turn you into a frog. <laughs> Children, children. Sorry, Mummy. Who's next? I'm a clown. <laughs> That's funny. And Rebecca? I'm a carrot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and my little brother George is a scary dinosaur. Grrr. 
everyone's costume is very good. Hooray! <laughs> now you say who the winner is. Oh, yes. <clears throat> and the winner is... me. Oh. <gasps> Peppa, you can't pick yourself. You're the judge. Oh, can't I? You have to pick another winner. OK. The carrot wins. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> Peppa loves fancy dress parties. Everyone loves fancy dress parties. <laughs> Peppa and George are in their bedroom, playing with their toys. George, let's play dollies and dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It looks like a horrible monster. Dinosaur. <laughs> ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! <laughs> Help! Help! <laughs> Daddy Pig is in the sitting room reading his newspaper. Mummy Pig is reading her book. Help! What are they doing? Ah! Help! Help! <laughs> Peppa! George! What's going on? Ah! <laughs> what's all this noise? Whoa! Help! Oh! Oh! What on earth is going on? What a lot of noise! And look at all this mess on the floor. Someone could trip over and hurt themselves. Someone did trip over and hurt themselves. Oh dear, poor Daddy Pig. <coughs> Come on, children, let's do a bit of tidying up. But Mummy, we're playing dollies and dinosaurs. You can play again when you've tidied up. But it's all George's mess. Is it really? So this must be one of George's lovely dresses. <gasps> no. <laughs> or maybe some of the mess is mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll help George tidy and Mummy Pig can help Peppa. We can have a race. Girls against boys. Good idea. Let's see who can tidy up first. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> We're winning. No, you're not. <laughs> there. Oh, what's this? Teddy, I've been looking for you. Quick, Peppa, put Teddy in your toy basket. <laughs> there. Now these books. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> What do we have here? Dinosaur! That's right! It's a dinosaur book. It's George's pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> <laughs> That's right! Oh, this is a Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> yes! And this is a Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> well done, George. <laughs> George loves dinosaurs. Daddy, George, you've stopped tidying up. You'll lose the race. <laughs> oh, yes, the race. Come on, George, put this back on the bookshelf. <laughs> Daddy, you're very slow at tidying up. Mummy and I are going to win. No, we're going to win. <laughs> we win. No, we win. <laughs> we all win. Look how tidy the room is. Hooray! What a tidy room. <laughs> well done, everyone. <laughs> Mummy, now that we've tidied our room, can we play dollies and dinosaurs again? Yes, you can carry on with your game now. Yippee! Where are my dolls? Where is Mr. Dinosaur? <laughs> Here they are. Dinosaur. Ah! It's a dinosaur! Help! Help! Oh dear, the room is untidy again. Oh. Oh. Well, at least it was tidy for a bit. 
Shopping. Pepper and George are going shopping. <laughs> Pepper and George like shopping. George loves sitting in the trolley. So does Pepper. Daddy, can I sit in the trolley too? <laughs> You're too big for the trolley, Pepper. Oh. But you can help with the shopping. Oh, goody. <laughs> We've got four things on the list. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions and fruit. I'll find it all. <laughs> <laughs> this way. Pepper and George love shopping. <laughs> Pepper, first we need tomatoes. Hmm. I can see them, I can see them. Here are the tomatoes, Mummy. Well done, Pepper. One, two, three, four. Now, put them in the trolley. I found the tomatoes. Well done, Pepper. Tomatoes. That's one thing off the list. What's next on the list? Spaghetti. Pigetti. That's right, George, but it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. Spaghetti is Pepper and George's favourite food. I wonder where the spaghetti is. I can see it. This way. Spaghetti. Look, Mummy, here's the spaghetti. Well done, Pepper. Let's put the spaghetti in the trolley. Yes, Mummy. <coughs> Pigetti. <laughs> George, it's called spaghetti. Pigetti. <laughs> <laughs> What's next on the list, Pepper? Crisps. Crisps are not on the list. We have plenty of crisps at home, Pepper. Have another guess. Hmm. I just can't remember. Can you remember, George? Dinosaur. Dinosaur? George. There aren't any dinosaurs in the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> no, George. The next thing on the list is onions. Onions. I remember now. Here they are. <laughs> well done. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Onions. Very good. That's nearly everything on our list. There's one last thing on the list. <laughs> A plant? Is that on the list? Oh, no, George. The last thing on the list is fruit. Oh. Never mind, George. You can choose the fruit. <laughs> Where is the fruit? Over there. <laughs> there are apples and oranges and bananas and a very big melon. What fruit shall we have, George? Apples? Oranges? Bananas? <laughs> a melon! <laughs> 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 This is the checkout, where all the food is paid for. Tomatoes, spaghetti, onions, melon, chocolate cake. Chocolate, chocolate cake. cake? Chocolate cake? Is that on the list? Pepper, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No, Mummy. George, did you put the chocolate cake in the trolley? No. Well, I didn't put it in. Then who did? Um, I thought it might be nice for pudding. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. Sorry, it just looked so delicious. It does look rather yummy. Oh, let's pretend it was on the list. Chocolate cake. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Pepper is playing with her doll's house. George is playing too. <laughs> Pepper is making a tea party for the doll family. Here, George. I'm the mummy and daddy. You can be the children. <laughs> children? <laughs> <laughs>
It's nearly tea time, so you must wash your hands. <coughs> George is putting the dolls to bed. Night, night. George, why are you putting the children to bed? They're having a tea party. <laughs> George likes putting the dolls to bed. Children, come downstairs right now, or you won't get any cake. George isn't listening. He's too busy putting the dolls to bed. George, if you want to play with my doll's house, you have to help with the tea party. Here, George, you can fill the teapot with water. <coughs> Children, come downstairs right now. Mummy, we're coming. <laughs> George is going to fill the teapot with water. Ooh. George has found a spider in the sink. <laughs> George wants the spider to be his friend. Oh. <laughs> George likes the spider. <laughs> the spider likes George. <laughs> Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Where are all the chocolate biscuits, Daddy? We had lots yesterday. Oh, I'm sorry, Mummy. I must have eaten them all. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Naughty Daddy. George is putting the spider to bed. Night, night. George, what are you doing? You have to help me with the tea party. <coughs> help! Help! Daddy! There's a spider in my bedroom. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. Please, Daddy, take it away. <laughs> no need to panic. Hello, George. Have you seen the spider? It's too scary. Take it away. There's no need to be afraid, Pepper. Spiders are very, very small and they can't hurt you. But don't worry. Daddy will take it out of the bedroom. Whoa! He's quite big, isn't he? Um, I'll just fetch Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig! <laughs> Hello, Mr Skinny Legs. Peppa feels a little bit braver. He likes being in my doll's house. Hello, children. I hear you found a little spider. I'll take him out of the bedroom so you two can play. Mummy, his name is Mr Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs is big, isn't he? <laughs> Pepper and George like the spider. <laughs> night, night. George is putting the spider to bed. No, George. He wants some tea. He doesn't want to be in bed. <laughs> Are you hungry, Mr. Skinny Legs? Would you like some cake? Pepper isn't afraid of the spider anymore. Mummy, Daddy, sit down. We are all going to have tea with Mr Skinny Legs. Who wants tea? Me, please. Me, please. <laughs> Delicious. Pepper loves playing tea parties. <laughs> Here's your tea, Mr Skinny Legs. What's that? You want to say hello to my daddy? Hello, Mr Daddy Pig. Hey, uh, that's all right, Pepper. <laughs> Let Mr Skinny Legs drink his tea. You're not scared, are you, Daddy? Oh, no. Of course not. Well, <laughs> not so close. <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> Pepper likes Mr Skinny Legs. Everyone likes Mr Skinny Legs. 